This is Kelly Hill, Executive Editor of RCR Wireless News. I'm here today with Giuseppe Inziti, who is CEO of Sight Tracker. How are you? Good, Kelly. Thanks for having me. Good, good. We're, well, we're here at the Connect X event this week, and uh, I wanted to start off with just have, have you give us a little bit of insight into what Sight Tracker is and what you guys do. Sure, sure. So, Sight Tracker is a modern software platform built to really help everyone in this industry manage the uh, crazy volumes today, right? Whether it's assets, projects, what have you. Um, we're really a modern platform to roll that all up in one place so you can manage all the activity in your business. Okay, okay. And um, how do you guys, I, I think operational excellence is one of, your, sure. one of your areas of focus and how are you guys supporting that in carriers and their vendors? Yeah, yeah, so we have a bit of a unique view. You know, I think at the high end, we work with um, the largest mobile network operator in the US and at the low end, we're working with regional service providers uh, to help them with their challenges. And the challenges aren't so different. So folks are battling with increased volume, increased variety, and increased velocity of what they need to do. Um, and we provide them with a platform to really roll up all that activity, um, whether it's the network operator or the service providers that service them all in one place so they can track all the activity and all the work that's being done um, in real time. Um, real time data allows them to make better decisions and really maximize the ROI on their CapEx spend. Okay. So what are you seeing in terms of infrastructure work that's being done? You know, obviously there's a lot of, you know, focus on densification for small cells, but also sure. preparation for 5G. And I think there's been some debate in trying to figure out how those things scale. Yeah. Uh, you know, you talked about the number of projects increasing. So, you yeah. know, what's your perspective on that? Yeah, that's exactly why we exist. So I think the old way of doing things isn't working anymore. So whether it's a legacy in-house system or a spreadsheet that was used to do large macro sites, that's just breaking today in the world of small cell and 5G. So folks are really preparing for that next wave of activity and rolling out modern applications, you know, like Site Tracker to really manage all that work. We're also joined today by Tim May, who is CTO of Site Tracker. Um, Tim, tell yeah. us a little bit about your platform and what sure. it does, how people use it. Sure. So uh, Site Tracker is really designed to help folks manage the volume of uh, projects that we're seeing today in the industry, um, optimize for taking a look across thousands and hundreds of thousands of, of sites and projects, but in a way where it's very easily uh, to digest for the users, for them to really get into the details and manage in a, in a simple way. Now, is that something where there's data coming in from the field? Are people mm -hmm. using mobile apps or tablets? Yeah. yeah, it's coming from everywhere. So, you know, the trends we're seeing is um, folks that were previously doing things through emails or through uh, pictures are now able to directly get the information in the field from a mobile app um, back to the office, get feedback back to the field in real time, um, and make any adjustments that they need to make while on site. And what are you guys seeing in terms of um, network densification? How is that playing out yeah, in terms sure. of what you're seeing, uh, you know, in your, through your system? Yeah, so uh, densification is really driving um, more and more sites and projects in the application. That's what it comes down to for us. Um, we're seeing over 3.2 million updates per week in Site Tracker, and that's driven by this huge volume of uh, data that's coming in. The, uh, the legacy software platforms that uh, were designed previously weren't built to handle this type of scale. We, um, you know, we designed Site Tracker in mind with um, managing this, this large amount of volume. So it's really been uh, uh, a great way for folks to keep track of, of uh, you know, things being driven through densification. Okay. And then what about this, this uh, topic of miniaturization? Mm -hmm. You know, obviously as we get into millimeter wave and yep. start thinking about 5G, you know, certain things get smaller and what, inf what impact does that have on, on infrastructure operations? Yeah, I mean, um, really uh, for us it comes down to more, uh, more assets and more tasks that need to be managed. Um, while you know the technology is getting smaller and, and things are uh, becoming more broad, we um, you know we, we need to still provide that same level of detail and that same level of management to ensure that those technologies can get stood up quickly. So, given all that's going mm -hmm. on in terms of how carriers are having to scale for mm -hmm. densification for small cell purposes and, and gearing up for five G, uh, you know, how do you guys see yourself supporting some of the evolution in mm -hmm, network sure. operations that's going on? Yeah. Yeah, so you know, what we have saw previously was that folks uh, were very regional based and even project managers within a region um, were doing things differently because they had their own tools and their own processes. Um, through Site Tracker becoming the common standard across all the different markets, it's really driven um, 
a higher level of collaboration that's led to process efficiencies, knowledge sharing, um, and really a community which extends outside of the mobile network operators to the vendors who are all kind of collaborating and working towards uh, improving their processes all the way from you know, permitting and regulatory through construction and on air. Thank you.